In this example, we will estimate each radical and order them on a number line. We'll start by estimating root 42. Forty-two is approximately halfway between the perfect squares thirty-six and forty-nine. Since the square root of thirty-six is six and the square root of forty-nine is seven, the square root of forty-two is about six point five. Next, we'll estimate root twenty. Twenty is approximately halfway between the perfect squares sixteen and twenty-five. Since the square root of 16 is 4, and the square root of 25 is 5, the square root of 20 is about 4.5. Next we'll estimate root 8. Eight is four-fifths of the way between the perfect squares four and nine. Since the square root of four is two, and the square root of nine is three, the square root of eight is about 2.8. Now we'll estimate root 14. Fourteen is approximately three quarters of the way between the perfect squares nine and sixteen. Since the square root of nine is three and the square root of sixteen is four, the square root of fourteen is about 3.75. Now we'll order the radicals on a number line. From left to right, we have root 8, root 14, root 20, and root 42. Now we'll move on to part B. We'll start by estimating the cube root of 92. Ninety-two is approximately halfway between the perfect cube sixty-four and one hundred twenty-five. Since the cube root of sixty-four is four, and the cube root of one hundred twenty-five is five, the cube root of ninety-two is about four point five. Next we'll estimate the cube root of one hundred sixty-nine. One hundred sixty-nine is approximately halfway between the perfect cubes one hundred twenty-five and two hundred sixteen. Since the cube root of one hundred twenty-five is five and the cube root of two hundred sixteen is six, the cube root of one hundred sixty-nine is about five point five. Next, we'll estimate the cube root of fifty-four. Fifty-four is approximately three-quarters of the way between the perfect cubes twenty-seven and sixty-four. Since the cube root of twenty-seven is three, and the cube root of sixty-four is four, the cube root of fifty-four is about three point seven five. Next, we'll estimate the cube root of thirty-five. Thirty-five is approximately one-quarter of the way between the perfect cubes twenty-seven and sixty-four. Since the cube root of 27 is 3 and the cube root of 64 is 4, the cube root of 35 is about 3.25. Now we'll order the radicals on a number line. From left to right, we have the cube root of 35, the cube root of 54, the cube root of 92, and the cube root of 169. 